If you found this tutorial by looking up how to move vector points in Illustrator, I want you to know that vector points are called anchor points here in Illustrator. And to edit them directly, we need something called the direct selection tool. That's the white arrow in your toolbar. And the shortcut key for that is A. I highly recommend learning that one. Also the regular selection tool shortcut key is V. So V and A, two definite shortcut keys to learn if you wanna learn Illustrator. Now, if I click on this shape, I can see each of the vector points or the anchor points out here. I also see these little circles. That's for the corner widget. We can actually turn that off if they're in the way just by going to view down to hide corner widgets. Now I just see these anchor points. I can click on anchor points individually. I can hold shift to select multiple anchor points like this. Each one I click on is selected. You can tell it's selected when the square is filled in with blue as opposed to the outlined square. I can also click and drag to select specific anchor points, whether it's multiple or a single anchor point. And then to move them after I've selected it, I can click on it and move it around. If I hold shift, it's gonna lock it in like this straight line, straight up, or maybe I just wanna do this straight line, straight out, or maybe I wanna free form it and not hold shift and just kind of move these points around. Now you might notice that if you grab it, you might accidentally like move the whole shape or you might grab a point and move the whole shape. That happens when they're all selected. See, they're all blue and I might grab one and think, oh, I'm trying to move this one. You kind of have to click on it again. Just make sure that's the only anchor point selected. Then you can move that anchor point around. So you can really edit these anchor points just like this. Now, one thing to remember, I'm not gonna show you. So I, so I went to the pin tool really quick and I actually, um, so I went to the pin tool really quick. You see it over here in the toolbar. The shortcut key is P. And I'm actually gonna add some handles to this anchor point to round this corner. So I'm holding option, that's alt on windows. And I'm just clicking and dragging out to add some handles here. So now we have an anchor point with handles. The handles influence the curvature of sort of what's going on here, right? The path that's coming in and out of this anchor point. We can actually click on individual handles with that direct selection tool, shortcut key is A. We can edit individual handles. Now the angle, when I use A as the shortcut key, will edit both the handles together. You can see how they both move, but I'll drag out just one. So I'm increasing the influence and it's basically making more of a curve out here. Same thing, if I grab this handle, I could increase this this one but once again with the direct selection tool the handles move together if you just wanted to move one handle what you need to do is press P for the pin tool and then hold that alt or option and get this little anchor point tool and as you're holding it you can grab a specific handle and only edit that handle. So you can make quick edits with that direct selection tool to both handles without messing with the curve. But if you wanna edit one, you can do it just like this here. So we dove in a little bit further than just moving anchor points around. Uh, but yeah, if you use that direct selection tool, shortcut key is A, you can move anchor points around individually, and you can also hold shift to kind of lock them into place. The other thing here that you might be wondering what is showing up, all the pink letters and the pink little lines that lock it into certain areas like this right here, there's a pink line locking it right into the anchor point below it. That's called a smart guide and that's up in your view drop down, down to smart guides. I pretty much always have those checked unless they're getting in the way. And what they do is they kind of lock into certain areas. So like as I'm moving this over, it's locking me into the center of this shape, it's intersecting. Like there's just all kinds of different ways that it's pretty darn helpful lining you up as you're trying to work with your anchor points. So I'd recommend having those on the majority of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time. That's it, hope you guys learned a little bit about moving anchor points here in Illustrator.